it is time to play Tomb Raider Remastered. I'm playing on the PS5, the original Tomb Raider, which I believe was released in 96, I want to say. I played this on the Sega Saturn. All right. Now, some of you in chat are they're completely red-faced with jealousy right now because you wish you could have owned a Sega Saturn. And you can as long as you have eBay and thousands of dollars. The dream can be yours. And during this era, uh, where Sega Saturn, PS1, early 3D graphics were starting to spread, I mean, it was not actually clear what controls should be. Like, if you look at a modern PlayStation controller, look at it. Let the camera focus and then look at it, right? You have the two analog thumbsticks, this one for motion, this one for looking around. That's on every single controller. But controllers back in the day just had up, down, left, right, and buttons. There's no notion of multi-stick control. And as the controllers and the hardwares were uh, sort of trying to match up with various design paradigms, it meant that every single 3D game, every third-person shooter, every first-person shooter, every thing where you control the character, all of them tended to have their own way of controlling stuff. And all the controls are still to this day terrible. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. We're gonna go look at those. But first of all, I just wanna appreciate, this is the menu screen. Look at this. You scroll around. How cool is this? Oh my God, yeah. So look, look at the controls. We're gonna do tank controls, because that's the original. It says modern controls as an option. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to not play this in the original garbage fashion in which it was designed. So, um. We're going to go into the game. We're going to do a new game. And this is the game. Oh, look at these graphics. It's so good. Whoa! Don't you hate when you're just a snake hanging out and a nuclear bomb goes off? Or is it? Like Alana says, man, this looks so real when I was a kid. Oh, dude, explosion sprites that are just images of explosions that are rendered in 2D and just slapped in there. Imperial Hotel, Calcutta, present day. What's a man gotta do to get that kind of attention from you? What? It's hard to say exactly. But you seem to be doing fine. Well, Turning it up. Hey. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline <laughs> Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? No one I'm talks sorry. like that. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice, rocky crags, savage winds, and there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. Wow. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Ever have a ripped koala? It has those swole koala pecs. Yep, shorts in this weather, she definitely lives in Santa Monica. <laughs> All I need is a cowl and I'll stay warm. Oh! Throws the rope down and then just doesn't even use it. Okay, now there we go. I will ring this ancient doorbell. Yo, as a kid, this was actually the sickest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, how, how embarrassing is that? If you're like, don't worry, I'll get the door. <laughs> Jesus. 
she just shoots dogs in the head. There's so many rounds. Uh, oh my god. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, she took him out, too. Do you see how much she was firing those things? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, look at this loading screen. This is the best. Okay, okay, now... Look, look at these realistic graphics. Oh, my God. And look at these true to the time controls so first of all i want to hit a button and take you back to 1996 should we just play in this mode should we just play in this mode oh my god i mean this is it lags in all the right ways Okay, so let me let me actually show you the controls here. So this this thumbstick does rotate, right? So this is the right thumbstick that's normally look. All right, let me just turn this on. I mean, this is actually such a such a nice remaster for keeping it feeling blocky and ancient. Okay. So, anyways, here's the left thumbstick. If I hold forward, it makes her move forward. Now, I'm going to rotate the camera. If I hold Hey, no, stop rotating the camera again. Okay, so in modern games, like if you're playing an Elden Ring, if I held forward, I, I would go away from the screen. In this game, if you hold forward, it walks forward relative to Lara Croft. So forward is always the same direction. So notice that if I hold forward, walking this way, no matter how I rotate the camera, she just keeps walking in a straight line. I mean, this is a nightmare. So if I hold back, she does this. If I rotate my camera and hit back, she does that. Doesn't matter what angle I'm at. All right, so so I can actually control all of her movement with one hand. Because that's how it was designed. It was designed to be a one-hander. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so... The left button is jump. Like, so that's square. All right, so this pulls out the guns. What? That's roll? What's the bottom button for then? So if I'm standing and I press this, we, we, t we dive turn around. So if I jump. Okay. That's it. Like I can't I can't roll sideways cuz again there's no notion of strafing. You got to play this on a keyboard and mouse. You couldn't pay me to play this in a keyboard and mouse. I am playing with the original tank controls and I am running it on these graphics. Oh, not on these graphics. I ruined my own joke. These graphics. So good. Okay. So let me let me go back to a frame rate. There we go. So if I take out the guns, I can still jump. I can roll with the guns. Oh my god. Wait, so if I if I use the the trigger buttons, it doesn't shoot. You have to press A. Okay, that's right. Okay, so so the logic is you have tank controls. This takes out guns and puts away guns. And the bottom button, X, that's that's the action button. So if I if I see something to manipulate, I would press the action button to shoot on it. Or excuse me, if I see something to interact with, I would press the action button to interact with it. And then if I press triangle, that'll take these out, and then I'm interacting with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very American of you, indeed. Oh, that's right. This was like one of the very first games that had a notion of climbing. Because now the shoot button is now the climb button. 
Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yep. Yeah, so X, <laughs> Ember Volgan says, X is your close hand button. If I'm holding a gun and I do this, it fires. If I'm next to a cliff face and I hold this, it'll grab onto it, right? It's just, <laughs> the X button is actually, it's this tendon, right? It's this tendon that goes right through the median nerve. It's that one. What? It's completely logical. What's the matter with you? You're the one that doesn't understand design. Yeah, and all these all these animations were motion captured as well, which is why I mean there's a certain realism to this jump. I can't control it once I'm midair. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. Holding R1 forward square. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. So the PlayStation did have this trigger. Oh my God, what a nightmare of UX. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, this is so bad. Okay, let me back up. So if you if you hold this button, you get this zoom in effect. And what this lets you do is it lets you control the neck. All right? <laughs> it lets you control the neck. All right, do you understand? <laughs> So what this means is that if I'm holding forward and I hold the neck button, I can like look around or if, let me see if, I, if I'm if i understanding this correctly. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Let me hold the neck button. I can just, I can just not look at what I'm shooting at, perfect. <laughs> oh wait, can I shoot faster if I tap the button? Oh, this is also, this is so funny. Oh my God, dude, look at this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so if I if I hold the shoot button, look at this. If I hold the shoot button, notice that she moves her arms forward. And so if I let go before the firing happens, she, she doesn't, she, she puts it away. She's like, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna, oh, uh, am I, am I gonna shoot, am I, am I gonna shoot, am I gonna shoot? So if I wait until it's all the way forward and then spam. I can shoot faster than the game wants to let me. But it's hard to get the timing right. I'm ready to become an absolute all-star. All right, let me put away my guns. <laughs> oh, this is it. All right. Feature not a bug, that's right. You know there's a speedrunner somewhere who's like, yeah, you just always hold the turbo gun. Just spamming that, because it just clears enemies and clears the room. All right. Are we pretty gentle on the back scene today? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's right, so, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, the left trigger lets you control the neck, okay? The right trigger lets you walk. All right. Hold on, let's get this in the original graphics. I real I really feel that it was probably we reasonable to just make her waist not quite that small. Oh my god, iconic. Absolutely iconic. Literally like how many polygons are the boobs? 4. We're going to use 4. Oh, it's incredible. And in the remaster, that's just, that's just a normal person. All right, fine. I get that it's a remaster. They used more than four. That's fine. <laughs> Thunderball says iconic or conic. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. So, um, ignoring all the stuff about the controls, one of the reasons why this game just got so many insanely good reviews at the time is... Think about 1996, you're coming off like N64, bright, colorful graphics, lots of um, games came from the arcade history where they were very just arcadey. I'm trying to find a different word than arcadey, right? Like really bright, vibrant pixel graphics because they didn't have that many colors. Yeah, unprovoking, that's a great word. Very cartoony, very not mature 
And then you step into a game like this, and there's very little instruction. I mean, even by modern gaming standards, this is a remarkably spare intro to a game. I mean, outside of that ridiculous cutscene, where everyone was talking with a light sexual sort of vibe to it. All right, so here's where I need to use the tank controls, because we're going to rotate this way. I'm going to hold forward, and I'm going to hit that. <laughs> you ever done a pull-up and nearly exploded? <laughs> All right, so I guess I do go down this way. Now this this is I think a clear improvement over this like light was really hard to do in 1996 that's why there was eternal darkness at the time let me try that again rendering light in games and computer graphics was difficult to do so you would do fake light you would just literally have an artist like oh my god you'd have an artist like paint with light colors here paint with dark colors here so there's not actually any light And so I think this is really nice with the remaster, where they actually are using some real-time lighting. It's amazing. I see I see a switch here. Hold on. I'm going to try to tank control my way in. Okay, so I go forward, and I'm going to, ro I'm going to rotate. Okay, this is so hard to just... That is the fastest clove in clo clothes in the West. Why can't I talk? Why can't I stand? Stand! Rotate! Tank Lara! Go! 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 Ow! Oh! Oh my god! Use walk for fine controls? No, absolutely not, Gisp. Alright, let's go ahead and... Check out, dude, look at the look at these Tomb Raider graphics. This is so good. <laughs> so I can go up this way. Can't open this. What if I used gun? Okay. The door also closed that fast with the old graphics? I mean, probably. Oh, Lee G, it's good to see thee. Hold on, I need to hold down the uh, tendon button. Yeah, no, I'm commit to the controls, no half-assing. Okay, Gisp, you know what, you're right, you're right. I should, oh, time to do a fine controlled walk around the corner. Because, you know, I, I, with any design, I don't care if it's game design or visual design or control design. Oh, this camera's making me sick. Some of the things you do are choices, and some of the things you do are band-aids and fixes due to the consequences of that original choice. So that's right, because in a lot of controllers, you didn't actually have a right thumbstick, so they needed to have the neck button. Alright, so... I guess I'm going to go this way. Alright, walked right off. Oh, oh! Um... Hold on. Oh my god. Back up. Dude, let me tell you something. You don't look cool at all with these controls. Oh my god. Void and Sanchez, you can walk right up to ledges and you won't fall off. Very useful button. Oh, with the R1 button, I see. Yo, this looks... So, this... 
This just is more appealing to me. Dude, the original graphics are so good. What is this? What is this? So if I go back to this... Oh, this is actually crazy. Uh, let me put the gun away so I can climb up here so I can interact with... Nope, let me just pierce right through him. Okay. One of the things that really sucks about the original graphics is that this, this thumbstick is fighting a little bit with some of the ways in which it wanted to frame the camera as well. God, this looks so great. Yeah, I think that if the old graphics were rendered at that frame rate, I think I'd be okay. I think I'd, I think I'd be happier. But I like my frames. Okay, so can I can I get up here if I do? Okay, hold on, let me back up. Yes! Oh my god, yes! So let me walk so I don't accidentally walk off. Some of these harder to see areas, I kind of want to like. Kind of want to go back to the original graphics to see what's happening in these dark recesses. Rashawn says, I've always loved the icy um, stone textures from this game. It's a very specific vibe that I haven't seen done anywhere else. Yeah, like. A sort of mix of rock alongside all this. You know, it's funny, because this room is actually not complicated, like, at all. <laughs> but for me, a newbie, this was tricky to navigate. So let me hold this button. What? I can strafe if I hold this? So if I hold the walk button, Lara doesn't actually turn. Because, like, with this, if I hold this, she turns. But if I'm holding walk, I can, like, absolutely do, like, a... I can do the hokey pokey. This is amazing. Will I just clip right up? Damn right. That's how we do it in PS1 eras. Oh, God. I love this. Ugh, where it just lets you run straight into the wall. And then in Uncharted, they're like, but what if the character's hand touched the wall and we spent $50 million on that animation? Everyone's like, my God, make three of them. We'll buy it. All right, so this is this is a classic, huh? Oh, what? All right. Okay, so 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 this is jump. So let me Doesn't matter, it's fine. Look, this is you trying to get my attention in chat. Like, day nine, day nine, Arrgh! day nine. Oh, what's this? So, what is this? Inventory compass, small med pack, pistols. God, it's so stylish. All right. Yeah, there's no health regen at all in this game. That's true. And actually, hold on, let me hit this, go down. Let me game. Save game. That's how it's done. That's how the game's saved. There's no autosave. Autosave auto save is a crutch. And as, as an adult who's not a child anymore, I don't use autosaves. You know, I just don't use that.
Holy shit! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop walking backwards! Ah! Is this the roll button? I can't see anything! Oh, what am I doing? What's coming? What, what is here? I gotta... I gotta turn this down. This is the loudest thing I've ever heard. Oh my god. Any more bad dogs? Where's the orchestra? Yeah, let's shoot the orchestra. Oh, that's it. It just... One dog appears, and it's like, all right, well, we're going to play the entire three minutes. <laughs> Can you loot the dog? Hold on, let me put this away. Can I loot the dog? Like, does this dog have, like, bullets on it that I can pick up? Does it have med packs? Perhaps a repair kit for a compass? Are there any chaos orbs in this game? Huh? <laughs> Uh. Lara? It's a good thing they have this, like, sort of Fisher Price temple construction here. Dude, in terms of atmosphere and mood, this is... Wow. It's good. Some good timers here. Some good timers. Dude, like, the mood? Um, are they filming 007 in the next room? So, oh my goodness, this crick in my neck will never go away. Um, so, I will say in terms of the atmosphere of the game, there's been no explanation, there's been no tutorialing. You're just in a, you're just in a freaking ruin. It's so good. Oh, all right. I use the power of the forward button. T pose. Huh. Let me go ahead and use the neck button to look around here a little bit. Oh, this is this is what email looks like. All right, let's. No, no, I used the neck button. I shouldn't have used the neck button. There's no yellow paint. That's right. What it does is it just limits me to a small amount of rooms. Okay. <laughs> Someone in the Foley room really blew out the audio there. Hold on, watch this. See? See? Because I have the back step. So, you know what? It's time for my take on the yellow paint debate. Alright? You want my take on yellow paint? First, you might want to know what it is. Because this is the internet. You're having a perfectly normal day, and you're thinking, I want to get mad about something. Well, let me just give you that. What else is the internet for anyways? Here's the take on yellow paint. There are a large number of games that try to do something called diegetic guidance for the player. 
Diegetic, first of all, is a great word to use if you just want to come across as a bit of a douchebag. So I'm glad to give you that gift right off the bat. Diegetic means it's in the world. You know when you're watching Mission Impossible and it goes dum, 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 dum. That's music that the audience can hear, but music that the people in the movie can't hear. Tom Cruise isn't diving off a building, believing in himself and Thetans. He's not doing that and hearing that song in his earbuds. We hear that. That is non-diegetic music. Whereas if he was in a diner having a cappuccino and they were playing some great song like Wonderwall, that would be diegetic because we can hear it and Tom Cruise can hear it. So in games, a non-diegetic form of guidance would be, gamer, you need to go, turn left, gamer, and I'm going to shoot an arrow out of your head pointing in the direction you need to go. That would be non-diegetic. But it kind of takes you out when all of a sudden you're hearing someone go, Snake, press the action button. It's weird. So doing something that is in-world and feels natural, a lot of developers want to go for. And a very common way to do this in, in terms of guiding is to do things with light. For instance, all the way down there, that's the most well-lit area. This is a diegetic signal to me to go to this area of the level. The most common thing that I've been seeing people get furious about on the internet lately is the idea of yellow paint. There's a number of games in the last few years that when they want a person to go from A to B, they will put yellow paint on thing B. If there's a mountain to climb up, well, let's have the rungs that you need to stick your hands into. Yellow paint, yellow paint, yellow paint, yellow paint, yellow paint. and. I have, I have sort of two opinions on this, and I want to share both of them because this is my channel and I do as I please. First of all, look at these graphics in the... Ah, get me out of here. These graphics, things are very blocky and very chunky because this is the graphical capabilities at the time. So this ledge, for instance... Oh, my God. Hold on, I need, I need to rotate. Rotate. Step up. Get up there, Larry. Get up there! Anytime I see something that looks like this, it's very obvious to me that I can get up here. Very obvious to me. Because there's just not a lot of polygons, okay? But as you start getting into more realistic graphics, like here, and if you think about modern gen games, you have beautiful, realistic looking rocks up the side of a mountain. You'll have a room in a ruin like this that will have beautiful statues and really cool, smooth, dynamic curves on the pillars and so on and so forth. So because you have such a realistic looking area, sometimes you lose out on the blunt obviousness of, oh, this is a square platform. I can hop up on that. And if you look at user testing, or actually if you have ever... You should just go try to track down someone testing a game before it's been launched. Well, they'll put the people in a room and the person will sit here, oh, okay, I'm ready to play. And they have like one of those um, single side mirrors where on my side is the player, it looks like a mirror, but on the other side, they can see right through it like it's an interrogation room. The player who's sitting there going, oh, huh, I wonder what I do. You would not believe how many players get stuck Stuck, and I don't mean stuck for 30 seconds. Ah, where do I go? Oh, here we go. I mean like 30 minutes sweating. I just, I literally, I want so badly. I want so badly to advance, but I don't know how to advance. And then you slap yellow paint on there and the incidence rate of that drops precipitously. And so in terms of defending a, um, a, a you know, developer's choices, I think that that makes a lot of sense with realistic graphics where you don't have the blunt blockiness and simplicity of some of the shape language of these early 90s games. Yeah, make it look realistic and just give it a little bit of yellow or beam a light on there. There you go. And the second point, I'm glad Suicide Squid, you brought this up, is that designing for the lowest common denominator. I think that it is really important to understand what you're even trying to do with your game. Let's say that I am a story-driven game, 
where I'm trying to get you, the player, to do some action, but get drawn through an amazing, fulfilling, rich story. The pacing of dialogue can get really screwed if, quickly, we need to go this way, and you're supposed to go that way, climb up, all right, now, hurry, go over that way. It feels intense, it feels good. But if they go, quickly, follow me, and you go, wait, what? Where do, huh, wait, and then you spend 20 minutes trying to figure out where to go, and then you finally arrive on the platform. Oh, thank God you're here. Quickly, we gotta go. It's not, it, it, it feels weird. The pacing feels weird. And so if you want everyone to have the experience of hurry, quickly, move, go, and got there, now hurry, quickly, move, go, you actually need to make it as crystal clear as possible where to go to ensure that you, the developer, actually are controlling the pacing in a way that you desire. And so there's lots of ways in which this principle of, I'm trying to create this experience for you, please just let me create the experience for you. Things like um, games that have a very long tutorial. Oh, the tutorial of, uh, let me take uh, Total War Warhammer 3 that had a very long tutorial campaign that ended so you could start over and then actually play through the game. And I thought it was quite nice. I thought it was actually quite nice. Um, You could say, you know what? We're just going to put that in the manual. But a lot of people would be like, dude, no, no, no. I, I don't want to like go to a manual or watch videos to teach myself. I want to kind of be guided through it. That is a choice of bringing someone through a bunch of systems and giving them some guided feel before you dump them into the game. Things like this. And I think that when it comes to this sort of like in-game guidance, I actually think it is a great question uh, for a developer to ask themselves of what even is the kind of game I want to create for myself. Because this is a game about exploring ruins. This is a game about going into a place where there's no human life, there's tons of mystery. Lara Croft doesn't know what's in here and I, the player, don't know what's in here. And so having it be very spare, having it be very, you know, mysterious and getting lost a little bit, that actually feels consistent with the experience of this. But if I were playing a really story-driven Final Fantasy game and I kept not being sure where to go, I think that for that kind of game, it's correct. And for this kind of game, I think too much guidance might actually feel incorrect. And so that's my rant. So at the end of the day, my actual opinion about Yellow Paint is most of the time, I think it's actually fine and justified. But for certain kinds of games and gameplay experiences, I think that if you're trying to lean into mystery or getting lost or giving players more agency or giving a sense of um yeah like discomfort and confusion games that want to feel more maze-like like like a hollow knight stuff like that could, would take away from that experience so that's what i think oh ah oh my god so many spikes so is this the original wall? The original door that I walked through? And I, by the way, I saw someone talking about a tutorial, um, you know, hey, there was a tutorial in the menu. My, my, my comment is not, ah, this game didn't have a tutorial and that's bad and I don't like that. I'm merely saying other games have yellow paint in them as a form of guidance. The fact that this game doesn't, I think is actually quite a strength for the kind of game that it is. And I mean, this is this is actually like a perfect example. Like, I'm looking through here and I can see there's a door over there. I can see there's a door over here. I can see some various areas to go through. And it feels a little bit up to me to figure out what I want to do now. And this room is not large. <laughs> the developers did smart things, you know, like, hey, Sean fell through this roof, so now he's down here. Maybe I can get back up there, but it feels like all signs are pointing me to here. I see.
I just pulled the guns out and started firing. I want to hear the entire three minutes. Hold on, I need to pick this up. Quickly, use the tendon button. Large meta pack. Okay, let me hold let me hold the walk button. Do I have to run? Okay. For those asking about Baldur's Gate 3, we are taking a temporary hiatus from Baldur's Gate 3. But we will be finishing the game this year. What? Zero out of three? Zero? I'm awful. Pickups two out of seven? Dead Knights, is that was abrupt? Of course it's abrupt. 442 out of 41. Well, that's a mighty 10% if you ask me. <laughs> oh, you were making fun of me. Dang, I'm not a real gamer. Are you kidding me? I fired 422 shots. I'm a gamer. Can't tell me I'm not. Distance traveled 1.5 kilometers. Sean read while sitting in his gaming chair, expecting to not move very much for four hours. Sean, how was your day? It was good. I went about eight kilometers. Hey, my little companion cat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Here, rotate this way. There you go. Sorry. Involuntary reaction. Let me use Let me use the tendon button. There you go. Hello. Meow. Please don't shoot the cat. No, I know. I know. I know. I know how to I know how to manage a cat, believe me. Oh, oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is so clumsy. This is so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. I keep walking backwards. No, Despy, get off the fucking thing. Despy, oh my god. What happened? How how much did you miss? This fucking cat. What happened? I, how long have we not been on the camera? Oh my god. This cat. Like five seconds. I don't believe it. <laughs> you come back and there's a bunch of dead dogs. I'm like, ah! Ah! <laughs> Screaming. Yep. All right. Hold on. Tummy time. All right. Yep. Yep. Hold on. Let me just use it. We're just going to get two hands here. You're a good cat, and you can always change the video mixer to whatever you want. All, anytime. There you go. Cat batage. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Dual wielding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're getting the top of the head. You can see my thumbs work in the top. And you can see this work in the chins. Oh, yeah. Pet cats shoot dogs. Welcome to Day 9 TV. Don't you own a dog, Day 9? Yeah, but not a bad dog. It didn't even play the music. Use my neck button. Look around here. Oh! 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 That is so stressful. Every once in a while. You know, maybe I'm archaic. Maybe I'm archaic and ancient. Well, I'm trying to look this way. Look that way. But I like levels. I like levels. Let 
me go go to this camera. Oh my god, the frame rates. Can you rotate? Rotate? Where's the dead dog counter? Yeah. Let's get ready to increment. Clear out this area before I start doing some problem solving. What? How the fuck? How do I go? How do I go? Okay, hold. Okay. <laughs> Whoo! Whoo! That was close. Get up. No! Get up! Is there a legs button? Yeah, what? Okay, oh my god. Alright. It's odd to have tank controls while you're swimming. It is the walk button to swim. It is not. It is the jump button to swim. Maybe it's the jump button to dive. Alright, let me find out if you're right. <laughs> Colt says I was half expecting Sean to drown. How dare you. Ha, ah, you're wrong. It's not the walk button. The walk button just makes you sit completely still. Alright, so, you know, I'm actually starting to understand. Hey, would you get off the keyboard? There you go. Sierra Letter says, what was the last game that used tank controls? I mean, I assume it would be World of Tanks. <laughs> I find myself funny. I, I crack myself up. It's necessary in this career, you know? I would go crazy otherwise. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck! Fucking, it's a bear! Fucking shoot the bear! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, that's not the button! Oh, it died. All right, let's loot the bear. Nothing, it's just a bear. Simon says, this is so janky. Dude, I can tell you're jealous that you're not playing the game right now. You wish that you operated your own body with tank controls, I can tell. Bat? You wish you ran into walls and made this feminine of a noise. I can tell. Now, you might be wondering if I'm lost. I am. I am currently trying to run around, make sure there's actually no... Bats? Or bad guys? When is the crafting system unlocked? This was created during a golden era where people just made games fun instead of trying to add crafting systems. Okay, I recognize this area. It's full of dead dogs. That helps uh, kind of give away where we are. So I went around. We're going to add a light crafting system and we're going to create a node-based skill tree. It's going to have 10 nodes and the best node is plus 5% damage. We're going to teach player how to craft. There's going to be 700 crafting items and you can make up to 10 things with the items that you pick up. We've added social features so you can tweet every single time you hold the forward button. Well, I mean, it's a nightmare out there, man. All right. We have a wide variety of very large ties. This is good. Nope. Hey, hey, look. It's how I want to look when I'm at the end of my diet. 
You know, look how lean. Look at that. No fat on the bones. Just nothing but lean meat and hooves. <laughs> Oh my god. Can we see the old version? Yeah, hold on, let me, let me, let me, oh, hold on, that's the wrong button, let me rotate. God, these graphics, we're, we're like, literally each pixel is huge. Okay, let me just, okay, let me rotate. Oh, uh, Drunk Dragon says, shoot and look at Lara's face. Oh, yeah. Now, old mode time. I can't. I, c I can't turn the camera. She won't, she won't look, she won't look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Okay, wait, okay, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh my god, she looks like if Beaker was mad. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I just worry sometimes you're angry. I'm not angry. All right, no. Back up. Holy sh! I'm amazing. Is someone is someone opening up an egg? What was what was that what was that sound? Wait, listen to it. <laughs> All right, this way now. How do you open your eggs? I open them, I, I crack them, and then I go like that. Right? I mean, come on. What are you going? Bang! Like it doesn't make that noise. It goes. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I'm not hissing at you, my cat, my princess. Can I grab onto this? Can I pull it? I'm, I, wa I want to pull it back. I want to see what happens if I put it on onto the, the, not the clay, the straw. Get ready for egg noises. This is crazy. I have to grab it and then hit back and then I have to wait. Like I can't just do do multiple of these. 
<laughs> Culture cons is imagine doing this in real life, though. I, I could do this in real life. I could break into a tomb and shoot bears and bats and shit. I could do that. Excuse me, little buddy. What happens if I put it on the, the area that is signaling for me to do it? I don't know. I looked like yellow paint. It looked like yellow paint. <laughs> looked like yellow paint. I don't know. Uh, the developers need to change it to be like brown straw instead of yellow straw because that's what that's what really misled me. A little hole. Oh, hey, hey, get off, get off the keyboard, Dispy. Oh, this little cat is so cute. All right, did I get a secret? Um, this is the button. So if I pause it. Wait, I gotta save it. Caves, one. I fucking loaded it? It did... What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Load game? Save game? Exit to title? Oh my god, Fuck. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Use F5 and F9? Oh, let me, where is that on the PS5 controller? Z29V? Oh my god. Jesus. Man. Fuck. Fuck, man. Fucking fuck. Oh god. Don't say why, Gente. It's such a mean thing to say, Shadowcast. It's a mean thing. Which way was I going? Did I come from this way? Did I go this way? On your keyboard in front of you? Keyboard that's not. Oh! Ah! Be a long day, huh? You know what? This is this is this is an opportunity. There's a, there's a secret over there that I see now. It's fine. We're, we're gonna talk about padding playtime, I know. Yeah, that's right. I found more secrets because I'm a better gamer. Rotate and get out of here. I mean, that's pretty cool. All right. The music was overpowering. No, it isn't. The music is great. At least I know what to do and where I'm going. Oh my god, there's pickups all over the place in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Humiliation is it's quite difficult to deal with. Actually, you know what? Let's see if there's another pickup over here. No. <coughs> Belly flopping and landing on feet? Yeah. 
rotate. Okay, we're going to go through this. Uh, if any of you have any questions for me, I feel well equipped to play the game that I just got done playing on easy mode. Favorite ice cream flavor? Rocky Road, baby. Rocky Road. You find Tomb Raider attractive? Are you talking about the game? Talking about the character? Yeah, let me, let me tell you. What, am I, do I find Lara Croft attractive? Well, I mean, how could you not? <laughs> Wowie zowie. <laughs> What sound does a penguin make? Because <laughs> they're cold at the time. Easy questions. Can you imagine trying to play Dark Souls with tank controls? Dude, that'd be so funny. Ah. Ah! Look! Look in front of you! button. I bet you there's a pickup. I bet you there's pickups over there. I bet you. Fuck. Alright. Well, this is the game. Time to run. This game has a lot of things that Dark Souls has. It really does. Like, the interesting to explore environments, the, um, General ambiance. There's got to be pickups here, right? Th this is exactly where a developer would put a pickup. Ow. Can you infinitely roll? Yeah, you just keep rolling back into the same direction, though. Nothing? Ah, how embarrassing. Still answering questions? Damn right, KK Bug. I missed your question. You know. Try, try again. <laughs> Then I'd hit this button. I'm not. <sighs> the Jedi Knight games. Um, I played Dark Forces. That's the only one of those that I've played. All right. Looks like Day Nine found one secret now. Boom. All right. Who's ready to shoot some dogs? I'm ready to shoot some dogs. the bear. Come here, bear.
Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Where's the bear? I don't believe this. Oh my god, I used the roll as it was intended to do. Good job. Good job, Despy. You guys are a good cat. I simply batted it away. Where's the bear? My cat's just purring. She's like, this is great. I got my earbuds in. I'm like, bam, 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 bam. Put it away. Use your tandems. Dreams are fragile. So have you watched Has Been Hotel? I've never even heard of that. There's a bear. God, you know the devs thought that was so cool, and you know what? I'm here to tell you, it ain't. It's not cool, man. All right, that was pretty sweet. That was hotel is a really fun show that aired a pile a few years ago and then got syndicated for Prime Video. It's a very, very adult show. All right. You know what? Where, where's... Where's KK? I saw KK sub and ask a question earlier. Where are you at? KK Bug? KK Bug, you have a question. I'm ready, KK Bug. I gotta find this bear. Hey, Dave9. Good to see you. Oh my god! Oh! Roll! Get the, get the bear! Ah! 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 There's a fucking bear! There's this whole bear room. Oh my god, it's like a bear room. He like lives here. This is like his home. It's in his bear stable. Look, he's got like his... Bear sarcophagus? <laughs> Pick it up and place it in your purse. All right, did KK Bug ask that question, man? Oh my god. Didn't know bears ate hay. <laughs> Neither did the developers of Tomb Raider 1. The bear is in the bear stable, eating bear hay. Like, these people have no idea what nature is. It's embarrassing. All right, I'm going to save. <laughs> oh, look at that water effect. All right, so let me go down here. Let me do this. Let me go ahead and save game. All right. Go. It's actually pretty nice to control. Oh shit, it's all fucking underwater here. Holy shit. Get fucking go down. Oh my god, the camera is just hell. It's hell. All right, I'm going back. I'm gonna drown. I'm dead. I'm dead as shit. I'm fucked. It's fucking over for me. I drown. I drowned. Where did I come from? Where Where am I looking? There it is. Solve the problem. 
And right back to it. Go, Lara, go! Easiest reload of my life. Okay, so there's the up way. Get out of the water. Lara, get out of the water. Get out of the water, Lara. Get out of the water. Get out of get out of the water, Lara. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, get out of the water, Daniel. What the fuck? Dude, just give me a break. <laughs> what? What is this room? You have an achievement. Your inner room is snakes. Congratulations. Welcome to the PlayStation 5 achievement system. You found four snakes. That's a good amount of that. There's 269 achievements. Yeah, I don't like I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, who makes achievements? I feel like achievements should achieve something. Like, you know, hey, you beat a level in a game. Here's an achievement. Like that makes sense to me. Or it's just like oh, you found congratulations. Let me bring a found four snakes. And if I go back to the graphics, see, this looks conspicuously door-like, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a door. Swim. I think I need to swim. I need to remove my. Come here. Come here. This be. Eh. Yes. Eh. All right. Hold on. I gotta pet my cat. It's 4:45 p.m. So I have to pet the cat. It's pet. It's pet cat o'clock. Let's get the meows. This be. Hey, this be. This be. Come on. Please perform. Please, please, I need this. I need your performance. Despy. Despy. What if I what if I wiggled you? Hey, Despy. Come on, what if I really wiggled you? Despy. Nothing? Oh, you're just gonna knock the controller off. Alright, fine. Alright, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so that's a door. You can't convince me otherwise. I'm going in. trick of the day. I know she has her little cute meow. She goes, eh. So that's where I came from. Wait, wait, is this a, is this a path? Is it just weirdly dark here? Yeah. Trying to tell me there is no path. If you go that way, you win the famous no prize. This is from whence I came. Yeah, why gen, uh, D9, uh, why G-E-N-T day nine is, uh, for when bunch of people were going lull lol lull when i kept dying to the same character over and over in uh prince of persia lost crown and i started yelling like i don't want that i don't need that negativity i want you to say something encouraging like you'll get him next time day nine and every time i died all of chat just typed in y-g-e-n-t-d-9 you'll get him next time dana because i was dying a lot like a lot She become a laser? Holy, I missed something 
real obvious, didn't I? Alright, alright, this is the game. This is the game. We are Day 9 TV and this, this is the game. Can we please look in a forward-facing direction for once, Lara? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good acronym. Classic water level. Water level forever. Go, Lara. Go, 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 go. <sighs> walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward, Lara. Walk forward. Walk forward. Climb. Oh my god. I get a broom. I get a secret room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man of awesome. 1006. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for that Twitch Prime usage. Oh, I pulled it two times, so I need to hit it once. Oh, I'm going to strafe this way. Yeah. Yes, yes! Level design made by a level designer. Yes! Yes! So I'm looking for a lever. There's a lever that was around here. Careful, I have gun. Tick, 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 boom. There it is, found the lever. Okay, back up. Okay, ro rotate. Okay, and then strafe. stuff. Dude, I gotta say, this, this is, uh, this game is pretty sweet. Except for that part where I walked right off the stairwell. That part sucked ass. But the rest of the game is, I mean, it's pretty sweet. I mean, allow me to be clear. The controls in this are so fucking bad, it's hard to even imagine it. Like, thank God we invented dual analog stick controls. Like, let me be very clear about that. Like this, woof. I mean, this is this is a rough one. Wish Remastered sold for 60 bucks. This was $29.99 as of launch day. It's pretty good. And it's three games remastered. It's water. It's water. Relax. Relax, baby. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Everyone, everyone, stop what you're doing. Everyone chill. Everyone chill. Hold on, where's my mouse? So everyone, my... Streaming PC just ran out of hard disk space. Which is fine. I just want to make sure this recording gets started back up again. All right, good. Hey, hey. That's a good meow. All right, I'm back. But I mean, like, outside of the controls being, like, so humiliatingly bad. I mean, my God. I mean, this is not... This is not a statement about the developers at all. This is a statement about the 1996 state of hardware and software at the time. But I mean, outside of that, this game is so good. Go ahead and play all three on stream or just for just the first one, Cactus Flower. Like this, okay, so Cactus Flower, this is an example of the kind of game. Don't jump, grab onto it, and make your egg noise. Okay, straight, fucking straight. Fucking grab onto it. Shove this forward. This, this is an example of the kind of game that, for me, gets pretty terrible viewership. I, 
I permit myself, probably more than I should, games that I personally just know will not do well on Twitch and YouTube. I just, I gotta play this game, man. It was so awesome. Oh my god, Lee and she. Good to see you. Did you did you get my Twitter DM? Ah! Ah! Back up! Back up! Get the gun out! Yeah, yeah, Lian, she, I, I, I totally, I totally slipped into your, into your DMs. All right, that's good. That's good. I want to make sure that you didn't think I totally blew you off, which is all I ever want to do with my uh, supporters. Of course, I want to be clear. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than knowing that one of you feels ignored. Uh, <laughs> hey, autosis. Thanks for the stream. Raunchy. Yo, Raunchy, how how goes... Uh, hello, fellow game dev, Raunchy. How goes uh, life for you? The life and times of Raunchy Town? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, fuck me. Okay, hold on. Let me just do this again. What? You can... What? What is this? How long has this been? Oh, my God! Okay. Rotate. Ah! Right. What in the holy fucking shit? Wait, how, how do I do this? Oh, I see. So you hold, you hold jump, and then while you, after you have held jump, then you hold left. Because if I'm holding left, and you jump, it just doesn't, it just doesn't do anything. So I need to release. I need to hit press jump, and then hit the thumbstick. Oh, so I bet if I hit jump forward, it does this goof-ass stuff. All right, put your gun away. <laughs> Try holding walk as you climb up something next time. Guess what, Slink? I'm never going to do that. Hmm? Remember what I just got done saying? I can't stand people that support my livelihood and enjoy hanging out with me. Can't stand it. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out right now. You want, me, you want me to hold the walk button? You want me to hold the walk button? All right, here, I'm gonna hold the, it, it's held, it's held. Why is that in the game? Hey, wait, how, how does it? Why do you think? Probably, probably because it was a motion capture artist who was just like, and look at what I can do. What if I let go? No, it just plays it all the way to the end. You can also dive properly. Okay, how do you dive? I've been seeing people be like, oh my god, D9 swam dive, swam dive. How do you dive? How do you dive? Do I? Do I? Okay, so if I hold jump forward, jump. That's the wrong button. Jump forward and I. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, if I if I if I do.
Oh my god, yes. Okay, how do I turn around mid-jump? So if I go... If I go... Jump forward... Jump forward... How does this work? Okay, so so how do you do the uh because if I do jump and roll button, it doesn't do anything. What? Oh. Oh, so I can do I can I can jump backwards. Jump backwards. Fuck. Oh, you need to do it. So, jump forward, roll. Ah, what the fuck? This is such a. This is the shittiest controls of all time! God, I love this game and can't wait to play it more. This is awful. This game rules. I don't believe it. Okay, so let me let me explain what you have to do. Let me back up a little bit. Let me just go ahead and tank back up. Okay, so. So, if I am holding a direction and then I press the jump button, it doesn't do anything. You're noticing that like, I keep, literally I'm pressing the jump button, it doesn't do anything. Holding forward, pressing the jump button. You have to be running a little bit for it to do that, sure. Here's the way it actually works. You're supposed to hit the jump button and as the jump is starting, you throw in another input. So like jump forward, jump backwards, jump left. You have to do it like that. And then, if you want to do the turnaround, you have to go, jump forward, roll! And you have to do it like that. Jump forward, roll! Jump backwards, roll! I mean, I know I keep hitting my head, but like, jump left, roll! Okay, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Holy shit, it's, yeah, no, it, this, this, is some, this is some crazy movement technology. What's my health at? I'm doing fine. Save before you try a swan dive. Don't tell me what to do, Zero Splint. There you go. Don't flick my stuff. What's the best carb? What's the best carb? That's your question, KK Bug. After all this time, hey, I need stop flicking it. Um, okay, so, so, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna. This is. I'm gonna make myself vulnerable to you right now because you asked me a question, and I'll give you a question back. Okay, I'm. This is gonna be hard for me to say, but I'm gonna say it. What's a carb? Now hold on, before you pass judgment, which I could tell immediately, the child was like, oh, I'm fucking going in on this clown. I look at like the back of a bag of food and it, it says like total fat, total carbs. I know that there's that number there. I know, and, and I know that it's like pasta and bread has carbs. Meat, and beans have like a good amount of protein in them. Like I get that. But I don't actually know, like when you say to me, what's the best carb? I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that, cause like doesn't, like a lot of things have carbs. Like what, like, I don't know what carbs are, what they do. <laughs> when you were like, what's, what's the best carb? I wanted to be like a Honda Civic. <laughs> That's the carb I drive. Like, I don't know, I, I, I don't, I don't know. And I don't think you know. Because I've been ragging on you all day. I like lightly bullying chat all day. Yeah, Honda Civic B is my favorite carb. Alright, so where, where in Tarnation do we go?
Okay, so I, I'm going to do this real methodically, and this is probably going to just be painful, but that's okay. I like to administer a little bit of pain as it is. Yeah, so like, 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 so to KK Bug, when you want to know my favorite carb, do you mean like my favorite carb heavy food? Or do you mean like, uh, like the chemical itself? Because I don't know anything about the chemical. Because you're like, what's your favorite amino acid? Like, I would also be like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I'd be like, tomatoes. Like, I would say something real dumb. I don't want to be dumb. You know? Peyton Man thinks this is a carbohydrates or a way the body stores uh, energy in a way that's more accessible than fat. When they ask what's the best carb, they probably mean the best food high in carbohydrates. I mean, that makes sense, but I'm going to let KK Bug, because this is KK Bug's question. I got to pay attention to where the hell I am going so I can cross <clears throat> things off. So I, I'm going to do a perimeter, perimeter scan. Let me go ahead and go back to normal graphics so I can really see the shit out of the low frames. So this, I think, is just a little interstitial path that leads back to the main room, right? So we open that door, right? So we've gone around this back side. And I'm just going to verify this is, in fact, all connected. Because, like, I think... because. Uh, like, here's something that I think has carbs in it, but I don't know if it is... I don't know, for instance, how, like, the delineation between a carb and a sugar. And again, this is, this is for the purpose... This is, dude, I failed high school chemistry. Just want to know if you like potatoes. Dude, potatoes. Fuck. Oh, my God. Little tiny fingerling potatoes. I've been getting better at making them. Let me tell you about my fucking taters, okay? What I do is I get little... Fingerling potatoes. I wash those things nice and slow. <laughs> and then I, I put them into a bowl. <laughs> Get out my cutting board, pull it from the bowl to the board, and I slice them long ways. Oh, they'll lie so flat when I put them in the pan later. Not yet, sweetheart. Go to a second bowl. <laughs> and then what I do is I finally just have little fingerling tater halves in a bowl. The original bowl that goes to the dishes. I'll wash those later. This bowl, let me not forget, I clean as I cook. Same thing with the cutting board, straight to the sink. The other filthy little dishes, okay? Then this bowl full of half taters. I take olive oil, I don't even measure. I glug it right in. And after it does it once, I do it twice. And yeah, my olive oil sounds like that. And then, and then before I, I, I mix it up, I'm going to put in 30 twists of a pepper shaker, 30 twists of a salt shaker, paprika, um, thyme, Italian herbs, garlic powder, onion powder. And if any of you are like, Sean, why do you use garlic powder? Don't you want to use fresh garlic? To you, I'd say, you're not fucking Gordon Ramsay, and this is not MasterChef. I put the garlic powder in. And then I go in there and I massage it, right? I give it like if it were if it were a trapezius, this would be a deep tissue massage that I'm giving it right here. I'm fucking going in on this. I'm going fucking in. I'm gonna just absolutely and then like I take my I take my hands out and they're all red and brown and with bits of black from crushed pepper, and I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be tasty, huh? I go, I wash it off in the sink, I let that smut run all over the remember the bowl and the cutting board? They get all that gack right on them. I go back to that bowl, get myself a little pan, right? A little pan, whoosh, flatten that pan out, put some aluminum foil on it for the Europeans watching. I get an olive oil spray, shh, put it on there. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Sorry, my cat's like, what? Stop hissing at me. Spray that shit on there. And then one by one, it's time to get a potato. Pick it up out of the bowl, set it down, face down. Pick it up, set it face down. What? It's my house. I'm going to eat the potatoes. It's not weird if I lick it and then put it on there. It's my it's my spit. It's coming out, going on the potato. It's going back in. That's not weird. It's fine. It's my house. I'll do what I want. One by one. That's right. One by one, Raunchy. And I do it just like Arnold Schwarzenegger said in the movie True Lies. I do it doucement. I do it slowly. Okay? <laughs> I lay those, those things down one by one on the aluminum foil. Okay? And the oven, it's been preheating. It's been getting warmed up to a nice, steamy, sultry 400 degrees. And then I slide that fucking pan on there. And I give it a little wink. And then I shut it in there. And then I set the timer for 35 minutes. 35 minutes. That's how it's done. And I walk away. 
I walk away. Those dishes, they gotta stay nice and dirty because there's actually a bit of an issue with the way that the electrician wired the house. And if I run the stove and the dishwasher at the same time, the breaker flips. So we gotta leave those dishes filthy in the sink for a little bit. Come right back on out. 33 minutes later, I like to show up a little early. Okay, I like to show up two minutes to wait and I just, mm, I just look at that shit. Oh, fuck. I have mustard in the fridge. I have some mayonnaise. I don't even touch that shit because I already gave them all the seasoning I want. And then what happens? It goes boop, boop, and I go, oh. And as I go, oh, I open up the oven and it goes, oh. And I go, oh, it's a little hotter than I expected. I have a oven mitt that looks like, it looks like a little crab, little crab clacker. I get my little clacker on and if I clack on it, pull it out, you hear that little slice of metal on metal. Oh, it feels so good. I can hear it in my sinus right now. Set that shit on the stove. And I gotta check. I gotta check, we're not ready. We're not ready to eat those taters yet because we gotta turn it over. And if we turn it over, and it just looks brown. Mm-hmm. That's when you know it's gonna be a little crispy on the outside and on the inside, it's gonna be like I almost said something, but I didn't want to get demonetized on YouTube. It tastes so good, okay? I look at it, it's brown, it's brown on the, oh, and I, and I bite into it, and the very first thing I do is burn my tongue because I didn't wait long enough. But then I managed to go run some icy water on the tip of my tongue, let it sit for about five minutes, and then I just start putting that shit in my mouth like if I keep doing it I'm gonna win something are you kidding me I literally you know what I do I'm kind of nasty when it comes to the consumption of it because what I'll do is I'll get like maybe some potatoes I'll put it on my plate I'll eat some of the broccoli I'll eat some of the salmon and then I'll eat some potatoes and I'll Mm, oh, these are really good. And I look at my wife and I'm like, mm, these are really good. She's like, yeah, you did a great job, baby. And I'm like, no, these are fucking really good. And then I go back and I put a few more on my plate. Sit back down, keep fucking eating. Oh my God, these are so good. She's like, I know, you, you're really enjoying them. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I go back and I keep doing this. And increasingly, I'm getting less potatoes, but I refuse to put all of them on the, on the plate. I don't do that. I have like eight Potatoes, I'll take four of them. Go back, get two of them. Go back, get one. There's one left. Mm, honey, honey, are you gonna eat the literal last half of the fingerling potato? And I don't know what her answer is because at that point I'm completely tunnel visioned in because I'm so horny to eat this last potato. And after that's done, kind of come back to my senses and I, Oh my god, how many calories are in a how many calories are in a fingerling potato? Did I have I think I had 40 fingerling potatoes. How many I mean, wow, that's not a lot for one of them, but I And there's calories in olive oil, isn't there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I have that post fingerling potato clarity and I'm like, "Oh shit, I got Oh geez, I gotta do the dishes now. Oh my god, I we got we should really talk to the landlord about fixing that electrical circuit problem. Oh, and then after I shamefully wash everything up so we don't see any trace of what I've just put myself and my family through. I hop on stream and KK Buck says, What's your favorite carb? And because I like edging, I say, KK Bug, what's a carb? <laughs> He's like, I want to know if you like potatoes. And I'm like, do I? Oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to hit the button so that gets to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I also like white rice. White rice is pretty good. Now, what? what? Oh, my God. Do you see this? So for Kate, oh my god, KK Bug with the 10 gifted subs, Shadowcast with the 5 gifted subs, yes, yes, yes. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh, ha! Ah! Ah! You know what? I deserve it. Small medipack. Small medi... <laughs> so you know how people say a mani-pedi for a manicure and pedicure? My brain sees this and is like, can I get a medipanty? <laughs> Small medipanty. Bring on the medi panties. Oh, there's more dogs. Oh, jump backwards. Jump backwards. Oh, shoot, shoot while jumping. Shoot, shoot while jumping. 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 I'm fucking drooling everywhere because I'm talking about potatoes. Shoot the fucking dog. Shoot the goddamn dogs. Why are you just jumping? Shoot. Oh wait, I'm I'm I'm, I'm confusing the buttons. I'm, I'm hitting the jump button when I mean to hit the shoot button. I'm sorry. In every game, the bottom button is jump and the left button is shoot. This button or this game is traversed. It's fucking weird. It's bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now I'm shooting and jumping at the same time. All right, cool. Okay. Fucking drooled all over my cat. My cat's like all irritated at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this weekend, honey, do you want to go on Medi Panties? Put it away. This container is walking, laughing is really hard. Thanks, Day Nine. You got it, man. If you need me to sexualize potatoes, you let me know. You know the th the thing that I was gonna say that I was just like, oh, YouTube will not like this. <laughs> it's like the potato is nice and brown on the outside, and the inside it's nice and soft. It tastes like the cum of angels. And then I was just like, oh my god, I wanted to upload this as a highlight on YouTube. Like if I get demonetized, like we can't we can't buy the fingerling potatoes. I can't put that shit in there. I can't say that. Yeah, the what? Yeah, I know. I I thought it. I almost said it, but I made myself stop because that way the highlight goes up and it gets monetized. Yeah. Vwem I think I turned on the stream at the wrong time. Hi, Vwem. We were just talking about potatoes. <laughs> no, we need to not let him cook. He shoot, don't let him cook. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, this is why the most reliable income as a content creator is income provided by direct subscriptions <laughs> from users. That's why that's the reliable one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's gonna be a dog right around this corner. Dude, I lost so much health, <gasps> ow. All right, let me let me just have a quick medi panty. <sighs> Sean, what's your favorite carb? Well, you know angels. <laughs> Don't get out of the water, Lara. <laughs> well, mm, um. <laughs> But dude, now, now that we're on the topic, dude. Garlic naan? Lara. Garlic naan is a little too good. This is real strange music to play with tank controls. You realize how hard it is to navigate? I'm gonna use the walk button because if I have to see Maxi TB in chat one more time, so you know if you use the walk button, you don't walk off the cliff. You just, I just need you to put your fingers down, Maxi TB. Okay, let me rotate. It's 
See? You'll get them next time, day nine. All right. All right, so, so, don't you, I swear to, okay, so now I need to go, no, so I need to walk forward, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, I need to close my eyes, jump forward, and then I need to hold this, yeah. I look like I've never used a human body before. I look so clumsy. Oh my god. This game was considered revolutionary to look this stupid. Okay. Maxi TP says you're doing goof, and then you correct it to good. I know what you were trying to say, Maxi TP. We're all thinking it. Oh! So if I do jump back, turn around. Oh, yeah, I'm so cool. Ah! What do we think this does, huh? No! <laughs> All right. On different save. Oh, oh, fucking! I swear to goodness. All right. I mean, I will say th th this level design is really fun. I mean, I like, I like. Talking about my irritation from having fallen, but like, dude, still? I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty slick. So I'm gonna need to do the same thing on the other side and then fall down. I'm ready to gun. Like this level would be super at home in a Souls game. The way this connects, it's so good. Maxi TB with the 10 gifted subs. You little sweetheart. I'm doing it. That's why I'm gifting five subs. Oh my god, people love when Day9 is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Dude, Vwem, thanks for the five. Max TV, thanks for the ten. Happy Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. 
So, so I now need to hit jump forward and then A. Jump forward A. All right, holding the neck button. Vlam. Vlam, who has given so many gifts to this community. Thank you, Vlam. You absolute lunatic! I need to use the walk button. Uh, someone, can someone preemptively ban Maxi TB from the chat? Okay. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> you fucking absolute jobber! How can you be so fucking bad? How is that possible? Oh my god. Patrick Mende, thanks for the 10. God. Get him next time, Dana. Thanks, everyone. Oh my god, I unplugged my headphones. It's a nightmare. <laughs> World renowned adventure, I know. Are these the default controls? Indeed, they are. So I can I can start over here probably. Okay, let me just take a step back. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, hold on. Now rotate. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Jacob got. Oh, fuck. Oh, pull it out. Oh, put away. Get it. Oh, uh. Jacob Godserve, thanks for the 10 gifted subs, man. Oh, my God. This is, the generosity is overflowing today. Thanks so much, everyone. Oh, my God. You know, I, I do think that there is something that is so much more beautiful and fun about these older games where, like, the, the playing of the game is interesting. As opposed to like, what was, what was the game? There was a game that I was playing recently that was like just a single player linear straightforward game. And it's just, pfft. you're playing it. And I mean, it's just like, guys, watch me just fucking sit quietly and play a game linearly. JTS is me. This is might as well and gifts five subs. Mwah to all of you. Oh my God. I do the server side squid. I agree. The, the levels are cool because they don't care about realism. It is... It is interesting and cool to climb up this unbelievably artificially <coughs> stupid construction. Yeah, we have a bunch of platforms and there's rubble in between the platforms that collapse and that's how we built our temple. By the way, 1K gift in 10. Oh my gosh, it is an insane swell of subs. Cause we, we've had in, oh my gosh, wow, this is insane. Mass Neotech prototype did a one gifted subs yesterday to Ali Eldrazi. And 21 minutes ago, we got 10 from KK Bug, then 5 from Shadowcast, then 1 from Jacob Godserve, then 10 from Maxi TB, 5 from Glem, 10 from Patrick Mende, 10 from Jacob Godserve, 5 from JTS is me, 10 from, by the way, 1K. My God! Jacob Godserve says, I'm actually surprised we haven't triggered a hype train. We disabled those on this channel because. I don't know, there's something that I find profoundly goofy about the hype train. Nice, and I'm falling down. I fold up. I don't believe it. Where am I? Okay, not bad, not bad. So bad. All right, I gotta save all the time. Can't believe it. 
<laughs> that's that's so brutal. It's like you died. Reload back when you remembered. Oh my god. Get up. This is... <laughs> god, I swear to fuck. Ah! Denying the walk button is a valuable button if you keep falling into the water. Yeah, you know what's funny? The PS5 controller, it doesn't come with a walk button. They actually got rid of the triggers on the PS5 controller. I know. Oh, yours are different? Yeah, no, I have a new mod. Oh my god, I want my character to sit at the bottom of the pool and drown. Hey, Blue Sparks 99 thanks for the five gifted subs, if you'll forgive my interruption. Fuck! Thanks so much for the support, Blue Sparks 99 Fuck. Oh my god, the platforming in this game. I swear to god, I'm gonna keep playing. This game's awesome. This is one of my favorite games. It fucking sucks. I can't believe this. <laughs> hey, Zeranotix had discovered Day 9 from his video about his friend playing Counter-Strike during a technical pause. Hold <laughs> on, well, since thank Day 9 for years of entertainment and good times. Dude, Zeranotic, welcome to my little corner of the internet. You want to see a great jump? Pretty good, huh? Watch this. I'm going to nail this. Jesus fucking... Why did she stop? Why did she stop? Why did she stop? Why did she stop? I don't, like... <laughs> Just literally this, this turning thing! I swear to God! I'm, I, like, it's funny, but a lot of me is, is actually quite mad. Okay, hold on. We're gonna... I'm just gonna walk. I swear. This is actually, I know for a fact this is more entertaining than any minute of watching me play God of War. I understand that. Don't back up, rotate. Jump forward X, up. Okay, then I hold forward and I hold the jump button. There it is, there it is. God of War is very good. No, it's a good game. It's a good game for you to play. But it's not a good game for you to watch me play. Okay. Save, please. I don't need to save. I'll be fine. It's like not a big deal. I got it. It's like fine. <laughs> Shin GX. That's so that is such a good use of emojis. Okay. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna scream. Oh shit, I can't even open my eyes and fucking look at the chat. I don't even want to see. The chat is saying I fucking hate you guys so much. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This game is so difficult. Oh, my God. Don't you fucking clip it. You take your hands off the keyboard. Oh, my God. Oh, oh it sucks. It sucks a lot. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so fucking genius. I'm having a hard time. Oh my god, we almost died. You know what? I'm I'm reloading. I'm just gonna load. Let me show you how to do it. You open up this, you click once, and that's how you load. I'll show it to you a third time if you need it. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, it's so fucking shitty, man. 
I mean, I recognize how funny that is, but this door is closed. Oh, God. All right. All right. Now, I think the best part of this walkthrough that Day 9 does is that we really get to see his mastery over this segment. So let me just... I swear to God, if I fall in the water... Okay. I'm, I'm beleaguered. <laughs> I am worn out. <laughs> I just don't understand. None of you understand. I want you to buy this game, and I want you to get to this part, and I want you to not... Like, any time you, you accidentally turn around and, like, do that... Impossible. How is this actually possible? What difficulty are you playing on? Oh, you don't fucking say that to me, Alex River. You don't get to ask me about the difficulty. It's the controls. It's a control. That's a mean question. That's a mean question. What difficulty is this on? You know what? It's the hardest. It's the hardest difficulty in the game. There is only one difficulty, but it's the hardest. All right. All right, we're doing good. Ah! It's so difficult. If Lara Croft, like, was ever... Oh, God. I'm getting so much worse at this jump. It's like, it's in my mind. I swear to God. It's just, I'm, I'm so bad at this game. This game is so hard. I don't know. Fucking God damn. It's like, I'm, the harder I try, the worse it gets. Okay. I'm walking. I'm going to straight fucking line, Lara Croft. I'm gonna hold the walk button, just go in a straight line. Okay, turn a little bit. Watch your step, watch watch your shins. That probably hurts a bit. Okay. She would lose all her contracts if anyone ever saw her like this. So I'm gonna hold this, and then I'm gonna do jump forward X. Cool. Okay. Easy. Easy. Ah. No, don't go sideways. Go up. Okay. Okay, this game is so intense. I gotta say this all the time. Game. Whew. All right. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and get this. Good <laughs> to go, Diatomus. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. It's good to see you're continued to support after you've told me so many times how your dad used to walk right off the edge of ledges into the water. I just I just wanted you to feel that nostalgia because this is the hardest I've laughed in a month. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. I mean, you're welcome. Kinda. I mean, I'm happy for you. <laughs> of the two people in this interaction, I'm glad you are having a good time because... I'm in hell. Uh, I'm in hell with updated graphics and tank controls. Oh, let me just walk sideways real fast so I can go in a straight fucking line again. All right, hey, I know, I know how to solve this room. We start over here. Jump forward. How about the SNES Genesis Lion game next week? Dude, the Lion King game is fucking hard. It is so hard, and it's so loud. Ah! 
No! Oh my god! No! One of the buttons! Yeah, you know what, Mule? Let's let's save the game. Let's go ahead and save it. Let me just put these away, and then I'm gonna jump forward. A. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Okay, let me just. God, fucking damn it! Please take a step forward. Okay. Okay. Let me rotate here. Let me just go ahead. And... Got it. <laughs> oh, shit, I've hit the point where I'm just laughing too hard. I'm just I'm just laughing too hard. It's just too funny. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this button. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> A very cunning maneuver. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, look out, Lara. <laughs> There's something over here. Oh my god. <laughs> we just need to play more old crappy games, I think. Oh. Oh man, crappy, how dare you? Oh no, I know, this is like my favorite game. Oh, so good. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh my god, it just it just startled me. One more load? No, it's not gonna Okay. So. So I see you land here. Got it. Got it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't save. I. Saved and then I pulled the switch? That's that's just dumb. That's on me. That's on me. Go to the right, fall like this. Turn around, go forward. Drop. And then down we go. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good if you ask me. <clears throat> oh, 
No, there is no way possible that sprite hit me. There is no possible way. I, I felt the wind and I passed away. No, that's not what happened. It's one hell of a hitbox, my god. Waffles the dog gifted 20 waffles. What a good dog. What a good dog. What was the dog, man? Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. Dude, 96 months. Happy 96 months in a row, Waffles the dog. Six months, Waffles the dog. What a treat. Oh my god, a bear. Oh my god, and Sinvicta is raiding. Today is awesome. Oh my god. This is this has been this has been a day of content and gaming. Hello all Sin. Sinvicta, do you have a name for your com community? Is it the Sinvictions? <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Sinvicta, thanks so much for the raid, and it's great to see you, Sinvicta. I'm... I can't pull my gun out now. For some reason. So let me hit the, the dive button. Okay. This is some good stuff. <clears throat> oh my god. This brings me back 15 years. Well, it's literally taking that many years off my life trying to get used to the controls. Hold on, I, I, I need to take a medipanny. What am I doing? City of Vilcabamba? Is that is that nearby Alabama? Oh yeah, the city of Vilcabamba. Oh yeah, we stop by the 7-Eleven Vilcabamba all the time. Alright, I see see a handle. A real place? <laughs> Excuse me. Alabama is not a real place. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what happens if I do this? <laughs> There's a door somewhere. And it just opened. Papa says, considering how old these games are, is it even possible for backseating? Yeah, I mean, if someone's just like, Dan, you need to go around this corner and hit that button in order to do this thing, like, you know, I'd, I'd be a little annoyed. coming this way oh shit well that was just a daisy chain of failure wasn't it 
All right. <laughs> We're cheesing this bear. Okay, so the top button is take out and the bottom button is shoot. Okay, so... So I, I do this. Shit. Yeah! I contented the bear. Absolutely. Okay, where's the bear now? Okay, yeah, my... Where's the bear? Where, where's the bear? Oh! <laughs> Where did he come from? Where is that bear coming from, man? It's the most ridiculous bear. I found him. He's right there. <laughs> okay. Where's the bear? There he is. Okay, wait. Stop fucking with me, camera. I'm gonna go over here. No, don't go down. <laughs> okay. Come above water, please. Oh! Ah! This is so difficult. Hey, get off the keyboard. Get off. Stop it. Get off the keyboard. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Fighting two animals right now. Get up! Yeah! Abs bear down. Entering into the depths of despair. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not the button. <laughs> really, I looked cool for a second there, but of course, never again. Not on Twitch. Day nine. Yeah, I mean, you can't even tell I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't. You can't tell that. And you better not tell anyone. Power-ups? Are there any power-ups? This bear has literally just been locked in this room. Just guzzling water. Oh, he's taking a little nappy. What a good bear. All right. All right. Oh my god. Well, I mean this bound to do something, right? Let me just let me just arrange myself. Oh, let me just position my body. Oh, I'm going to do this, okay? And then That's that's a crutch. That's a coward's cho choice to pull that lever. And as you know, I'm no coward. I'm also no good at controlling Lara. Yeah, I found you secret and took a bunch of damage. Ah, yes, ancient bullets. <laughs> So wait. All right, I, I don't. I, maybe I need to find the ancient Uzi buried within the temple. I feel cool for having found a secret, though. Like, insanely cool. Like, cooler than all of you. <laughs> Seriously. I feel awesome. Seems legit. Yeah. Yeah, you wish you could walk into walls and get killed by bears like me. God, that was... I mean, that, that whole bear incident was horrifying. Don't. 
you can see how pathetically I extend my arms out. Just like, just trying to grab onto something as I'm falling into nothing. Okay. What in the legitimate? F oh, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, let me just position myself. Let me just do a little Lara strafe over here. Hold on. Let me just hold the button. Gold idol. Play the original? Oh, yeah. Two of three secrets. 711 shots fired. I walked 4.6 kilometers. That's more than Scutagium. Oh. Sometimes do that just to make sure I can see everything. Yeah. Oh, we got water levels. Oh, oh my fuck. No, no. Dude, this game is so good. I mean, I know the controls are... Wow. These fucking controls are so difficult. But it makes it compelling in a way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me... You can, you can get up. You can, you actually, you know exactly how to get, stop Lara. You know, you know how to get up. All right, good. Just turn around here. Pull these out. Lara, you know how to jump. Come on. Something very delicious about a game in which the enemies, they don't drop stuff. They're just, they're just, they're just bad. Ow. Unlike me, who's awful. That was legitimately terrifying. All right, let's go back. We have to go back. You know, the controls better than the OG? Well, I'm playing on the OG controls. <coughs> Is that a path down that way? Let's go to old graphic mode and see. No? <coughs> Okay. Turn this off. Because I actually want to explore some of these other areas. We're going to run, and we're going to hit jump, and we're going to hit that hold button. Okay, nice. Away. Okay, forward jump. Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, jump forward. It's such a weird 
feeling control. No, you're such a bad person! Why would the game do this to me? Why would it do this to me? Get out of the water! Get out of the- get the fuck out of- get out of the water! Get out of the water! Try to swim! Swim, Lara! Swim, swim against the grain! Against the grain? <laughs> Sorry, it says me. Shave against the grain! No, 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 let me try this again. Okay. King Sobe says, I finally catch you live. Hardest quest of my life. Hope you're good, Day9. Oh, I'm awful. It's great to have you here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, about to, we're about to make real love to the walk button. <laughs> Slowly depress the R1 button. Uh, by the way, I'm not I'm not in the mood, uh, Razor Prototype. We're not doing any back seating on some of the controls and stuff. I mean, you can wax nostalgic about things, but believe me, the the, the difficulty here is not that I'm unsure what the controls are. Is it the controls? Just take a little getting used to. Because there's little things where like. Your character doesn't jump when you hit the jump button. Like, that's the thing that's, that's weird. So, see, for instance, if, 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 I'm, if I'm holding forward and I hit the jump button... Let me try this again, let me try this again, let me back up, back up, because I, I, however many times I need to show this, I will show it, because it's fascinating, right? Forward, jump. Forward jump. Right jump. Right jump. Forward jump. Hey, it did it there. Why did it do it there? If if you have been running long enough and then you press the jump button, it'll let you do it. But if you just start moving and press the jump button, it doesn't do anything. If you want to jump from standing still, you have to jump first and then press forward. It's wild. You know, there's all these, like, variables that people uh, talk about with platformers about making the jumping just feel good. Probably the most famous one is coyote time. What are you doing, Lara? Get, get. I swear to God, I need you to rotate. I swear to God. Okay. Tank controls. You know, I'm no, I, I no longer walk. I just jump. I don't know which way is forward and which way is back. This this might act. I might actually be going forward because I I thought that. I assumed that this was forward. Play on keyboard, I have a PlayStation 5. So I do not have a keyboard for that. This, this could be the secret. <coughs> Wake you from your nap. Yeah, big yawns, big yawns. Put them away. See, I, I, I kind of like the feeling of being mildly lost. I can see a little better here. This guy games. Yeah, no, I'm like literally a championship gamer. For real, no fakesies, no take backsies, just absolute championship gaming quality day nine, you know. Oh. Hey, don't don't chew on that. Don't hate. 
You ever played Mist? Dude, the entire playthrough of me playing through Mist is on YouTube, baby. <laughs> okay, so maybe we go this way. And Riven. I, I think Mist and Riven are two games that I would consider 10 out of 10s for me. Large Manny Petty. Yeah, there, there's a few traditional point click adventure games that I've not played. Oh my god, this cat is purring. You're purring so much. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's a fucking dinosaur! Fucking what the hell are dinosaurs in the game? No! Take your guns out! Shoot a fucking dinosaur! Oh! Fucking jump! Ah! Holy shit, man. There's a fucking velociraptor in there. What in the fuck? So I definitely went the wrong way. <laughs> Look at that draw distance. Oh shit. Game is scary. <coughs> no, this is not the right way to go. Did I lose out on those secrets? I might want to reload. <coughs> I'm gonna go back. You can't you can't stop me. This is my show. I can get up there. Okay. <laughs> Going back. Don't even care. Don't even care. This is my game. I'm allowed to do with it what I... Walk right up to the edge. What? Why? So a running jump is farther than a standing jump? That doesn't make any physical sense at all. Get out of the water, Lara. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Pow. Bong. Oh my god. That That is a name that I have not heard in so long. Parasite Eve. Holy moly. Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve. Man, that game had like TV commercials for it and shit. I remember all those advertisements. So it was advertisements. Oh my god, can you just look? Wow, you get a lot more distance. Okay, so I'm going to go into walk mode. So what we do is we, is we go on a walkie. We walk up to the edge, and we take a walk back, and... Okay. You are a piece of shit. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't believe it. Oh my god, the pain. <laughs> you 
get them next time, day nine. Thanks, guys. Thanks. It's good to have your support. I know you're laughing at me. I know. I know. I'm glad I don't do long streams on Wednesdays. I'm really glad I do. I'm glad I need to go. I'm pleased with that. Okay, so I can do this. I'm laughing with you. That's good. You know, I mean, all joking aside, I'm having so much fun playing this game. And I mean, getting mad and like fucking up. It's, it's like actually quite a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, moving on. Run, Lara. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, walking. Okay. Okay. Okay, walking. Walk. I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk. You know what? You know what? Saving is a correction. I'm using it. Let's walk. Just we'll walk. Oh my god. There is no fucking way that's what happened. There is no way that's what happened. Hold on. I'm going. Here, just load. Bam. There it is. All right. Ooh, I didn't realize it was so high skill. Oh no, it seems like I'm a high skill gimmick. I'm in disbelief. So maybe I shouldn't have reloaded all those years back. Oh, is it shut down the water? I need a fucking gear. Fuck. Damn it. Actually, no. I don't need to put up with this shit. I'm, I'm reloading. Are you kidding me? I'm, I don't, I don't worry about. It. I don't sweat it. This is, this is the game. This is the game right here, baby. This is the game. This is the game. It's not a big deal. So what I am learning, what I am piecing to get out of the way, Lara. What I am piecing together using my superior mind <laughs> is that if I can get a cog. I can enable this bridge, not enable the bridge, enable this um, to turn off the waterfall or to reroute the water. I swear to everything related to UI UX, they just need to never have made this game's control this way. They just need to do that. Ah, oh, Lara. Running into stuff so clumsy. Literally the worst Tomb Raider of all time. Like, if anyone had any footage, she would never get a contract. What is the... Oh, okay, that's fine. Shotgun. Lethal and loaded trophy. You're in your trophy. You picked up a thing. You picked it up. Achievement unlocked. Great job, day nine. Day nine. Yeah, like 
part of me wants life to work this way, where it's like I pull out my credit card at the grocery store and it's like, achievement unlocked, presented money at the grocery store. And I'm like, yeah, I did pretty good. I got, I almost platinum today. We're going, we're heading there, absolutely. Once Elon Musk Neuralinks his way into all of our stuff, we're definitely going to be just achievement hunting every day. This is an incredible run, shotgun. So I see, I'll soon enough be able to swim here. They'll call me Gene Swimmins. It's not funny, but my brain produced it, so I'm going to say it. Okay. What are you looking at? That. Okay, good. Dude, the original game didn't have achievements. They're literally spitting on the legacy of Tomb Raider. Oh my god, put your gun away. Shouldn't have reloaded, should I? Shouldn't have reloaded. Shouldn't have Because re I see what's going to happen. I see what's going to happen. Lara. 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 So we need to go the way that I originally reloaded from to get a cog. We get the cog, we make our way back here. Once we make our way back here, we can insert the cog to open the thing. Just grab it, just grab it. There. And then we can swim our way back up because there's going to be a little hole. A little swimming hole to pull ourselves right up on it. This works. This is why I don't save scum. I know, I know. I was a real coward. Saving, saving games is a crutch. Saving and loading is a crutch. Oh look, one one Hayabusa has just, for the very first time, joined our lovely community and typed the words. How are the controls? If you'd like the answer, uh, chat, could you share some clips with Hayabusa to let us know? Every dog must say goodbye. All right, nice. It's very good. We got a lot of paw cakes in here giving clips. Is there any item here? Here's one thing I was not looking for. No items, eh? Oh, I bet this is the way back. I have pieced it all together. I understand the design of the levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah! All right. Huh. Whoa, whoa, you got some in the ears? You all right? All right, you got it. You shouldn't be on the keyboard, though. Yeah, come here. There you go. Now you're not on the keyboard, and that makes me so happy. Yeah, well, how you doing, Baba? All right. Just 
Pick it up. 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 All right. We're going. Bet you there's a power up hidden somewhere here in a corner. You know what? I will save. game is awesome. This is the best game. so cool. It's just so cool. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Is it because I didn't move? Is it because I didn't move? And the developers of this game probably saw Jurassic Park, because Jurassic Park was released in 1993, I think, and this was released in 1996, and they were just like, that's how it's going to work. You're going to stand there, and they won't have Jeff Goldblum to help you out, but you can be your own Jeff Goldblum, you know? That's incredible. That was your stream. He was really good. I mastered the controls of a difficult game and was rewarded with my prize. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't hide this shit from me. Can you? Can you? I thought that there was gonna be something cool back here. Is there nothing here? What the fuck is here? What? <clears throat> no, this is supposed to be a secret. This is maybe where I'm supposed to hide from the dinosaur. My god, it's, these things are confusing when you have a real gamer on your hands. When there's a gamer that already knows the ins and outs of Tyrannosaurus Rex slaying. I saw 1993's Jurassic Park, which I hope someone confirms it was released in that year, because I'm just going to keep saying it until you correct it. No, it wasn't. Can't be. June 11th, 93? It was 93, wasn't it? Didn't it come out in June? Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh!
Jesus. <clears throat> the book was released in 1990? Yo, I mean, I can't believe that. That must have meant that, like, Steven Spielberg read the book and was like, give me the rights today. We're, we're filming next week. Can I swear to God, can I look in front of myself? Thank you. Why would I ever want to go this way, huh? Oh, it's another way to shoot at the T-Rex. Oh, my God, the gamer day nine's figuring it out. Look at all these little hidey holes here. Hidey holes for cowards, I guess. Oh, I'm getting, like, so, so dizzy sometimes. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Be brave, Day9. I can't even see him. Oh my god, camera souls. Okay, let's rotate. Let's hit the walk button. Walk this way. Good luck, me. These little cave networks are sweet. We just look in front of ourselves, for God's sake. Don't get in the water, dude. Okay, turn this way. Dude, being a tank, like the tank controls, is, is the hardest thing I've ever done, is be a, be a tank. I'm, I'm getting like, I'm getting worse with it over time. Like, I'm not mastering the controls. It's like my brain is getting increasingly resistant to the idea. Pikachu Jesus, dude, it's not hard. How dare you? Sitting silently? Dude, these, these controls are hard. No, it's not. You did the tutorial. What? What are these questions? What are these questions? Oh, shit, I found the cog. Oh, shit, I'm so good. You wish you were this good, Pikachu G. Oh, yeah, you hear those holy sounds? Because I found a cog, baby. I mean, that, that's just a crazy thing to say. Like, did I do the tutorial? Well, what I actually did was 25 years of playing games with modern controls. What, am I going to delete that from my brain? What, am I just going to remove that muscle memory? Get out of it. I mean, like, all joking aside, that this is, like, really the problem. Oh, yeah, I gotta say. Is that, like, every single properly uh, made game in the last... For a Manny Petty. Uh, every, like, properly made game recently just, like, <sighs> uses analog controls. It is so fucking hard. So I actually don't want to explore this yet, because I'm curious. Yeah, I'm just curious. How, how are the modern controls, for those of you who have played it? Can I not go back anymore? No, I can't go back anymore. All right. I can't see shit. So I could have entered into it from that way. Is 
version of Flares for the Dark? Well, it has, it has old graphics mode. Dude, I, 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 you gotta respect these old games for just fucking going for it. Just being like, yeah, no, and there's, then you're just gonna have to fight a T-Rex. Like, I mean, there's some things about, like, a two frame per second of waterfalls for you to... <laughs> StormBG says, it's entertaining as a kid. I did a million times better than Day Night does as an adult. Dude, oh my god. I feel the exact same way. I played so many games like this as a kid, and I was just like, yeah, no, fine. Like, this this is how uh, GoldenEye on the N64 control. And I was just like, yeah, no, it's just, you know, just a game. Yeah, you just hit the buttons. Go from A to B. I got GoldenEye as an adult. I could not even move. It was so hard. <laughs> Hey, dude, Max TV, have a great time sleeping. Can't figure out what I'm doing. There it is. Bravery looks like. <laughs> Jump! Pull the guns out! Put them away! Find some of these, like, dark areas and, like, little secrets to be easier to see. The retort day nine. Thanks, Showtime Tyler's. God, this remaster looks so good. Keep scanning back and forth, looking for hidey holes. Looking for power-ups. Should I play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I'll be real with you about Final Fantasy VII. These new Final Fantasies, I don't think I'm going to touch until they're actually done with all of them. Because, like, the original Final Fantasy VII is excellent. And, I mean, there, there's some wonky, like, if you didn't grow up with the, that sort of goof-ass JRPG conventions, so like, you might be a little... Some of the gameplay can feel a little stilted and so on, but, I mean, I, it, the game's just great. Let's look in this direction, please. And so, like, you know, because it's like... What was the first Final Fantasy VII remake called? It was like Final Fantasy VII... Oh, it was just called the remake? Even though they're all a remake? Oh yeah, because it's remake, rebirth, then reduce, recycle, reuse, I think. I think it was. What's um in it, it, the Matrix movies was Matrix Reloaded? Matrix something than Matrix Revolutions? What were they called? What were they because I, I I like I don't I don't really watch the Matrix 2 and 3. First one is the Matrix, second one is Reloaded, and the what was the fourth one? What 
What was the fourth one? Like, like I thought the fourth one was Revolutions. Oh, it was Resurrections? There was a fourth one? Yeah. The Matrix Recycle. This, this is this is sweet. Okay, so I can't really decide which direction I want to go because like both of those seem like very reasonable places to go. So I'm actually going to go back this way. Yeah, the Matrix regurgitated and the Matrix recycled. I think is what they were called. Yeah, I mean, for for a game like Final <laughs> Fantasy VII, like I just given that I know where things go in the game because I played the game. Like, I don't know. Like, the, the, the whole... We're gonna remaster a chunk of it. Like, I don't know. I... I... By the way, I, I have no disrespect or issue or concern with anyone who's like, Dude, it's been awesome. I play them as they come out. And I think they are terrific. Wait, can I not actually make this jump? Oh, that's awesome. Fucking kidding. Pick it up. Pick it up. This game is definitely rough on. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh no. Fuck. No, I don't want to reload. Oh my god. When is the last time I saved this game? the button again otherwise it will it'll just not do a new target i'm gonna get a large mani petty <sighs> yeah. pikachu g says correct how dare you try to challenge me i know every mechanic in this game in fact i made this game okay i don't the criticisms are never ending here on day nine tv where did this place go I know where this is. I was a lead developer. Yeah. I designed the whole thing. In fact, I uh, did motion capture for Lara Croft. That's why I know exactly how she moves. There was a hidey hole. That's the other hole that we went into. I mean, as much as I love shitting on this game's controls, like, I, I will say the the it's just so atmospheric. <laughs> it's a good day to save. Did the voice too, yeah. Step 
step over. Uh, down the hatch. I love how, how, like, polygonal all the objects are, and then they just have this, like, sick skybox. <laughs> you know, I, I am Angelina Jolie. That's a good point, Pine Coon. 100%. You might notice due to my luscious lips. That's exactly the way I wanted you to go, Lara. How's the sky in the old graphics? That's a good, that's a great question. All right. Check this shot out in the old graphics. Wait, hold on, stop moving my camera. Like right here, here it comes. Here comes the old graphics. Hell yeah, look at that. It's wow, it's literally pitch black in the original. You can see the frame rate choking too. Ah. Uh... <laughs> that still cracks me up. Ow, Lara. Oh my god, Xanthir, I'm, I'm actually going to answer this question because I'm getting so motion sick. I need a miniature break from playing the game. Xanthir has been starting to learn game design. Do you have any books or courses that you recommend on the subject? I'm going to tell you something, and... You better do it. You had better do it, and if you don't... I'm going to beat the shit out of you, okay? Don't even don't even look at me, okay? <laughs> Super Tox, this is you have my attention. <laughs> okay, let me stop being goofy doof and I'm just going to sit here for a moment. Okay, so um, when it comes to learning stuff about game design and game development and stuff like this, there's a very legitimate, um, like, approach to this, which is... I don't really want to make a game. I just want to learn about it. Like, for instance, I sometimes watch those video essays about film. I have no fucking interest in pulling out a camera and editing stuff together. That's like way, that's like way insanely high skill. <laughs> and as clearly a low skill human being, I have no interest. But it's fun to watch and it's fun to take some interesting notes, get some observations and go, oh, ha, huh, that's cool. I'm at a party. Oh, you know, in that film, they actually did this with the color blue, right? And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, D9, he's so smart. And I'm like, I'm a great parrot. That's great. There's uh, plenty of books that can give a deeper appreciation for games that is just satisfying in that sort of social setting. I would include, um, a, for a very functional book, like that actually gives very practical exercises, there's Game Design Workshop by Tracy Fullerton. Um, also, there is The Theory of Fun by Raf Koster. Those are some classics. Also, um, there's the Design of Everyday Things, which is an industrial design book that I still think is very valuable. Um, also, Designing Interactions by Bill Mogridge is another good, just general, interesting, interactive design uh, book. Um, and also, I think that Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud, even though it is about comics, it's an incredibly, um, I just think it's a brilliant book, especially the third chapter about, um, it's called Blood in the Gutter about closure um, and sort of like how brains interpret information between frames, which is also really important when it comes to how people uh, parse UIs or just anything visual or so on. Um, so like, so like those are some texts. 
you can read those texts. But if you're interested in, in like learning the skill of game design, fucking make a game. Fucking please make a game. Like if you just sit down and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make a board game that's gonna be about uh, operating a stuffed animal factory and you just make that game. In a sense, each game is its own little expertise that you're trying to learn and you're trying to get. Um, and, and let me compare making of games to playing of games. If I sat down to become good at StarCraft, that there's a whole set of skills around StarCraft that are um, that have nothing to do with if I wanted to get good at fighting games. And the skills that I would learn there have nothing to do with the skills of getting good at Counter-Strike. Now, is there like a sort of lateral-ish overlap of like, well, yes, no, I think that the techniques that I learned as a StarCraft player trying to get to the top of the ladder, that those generalized approaches could, in a sense, get me a head start if I were trying to learn a new game like, you know, Tekken 8 or something like this. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but my build orders in StarCraft have fucking nothing to do with Tekken, period. They just don't. They have nothing to do with each other. And this is kind of how I'm, you know, uh, working on a game functions. Yes, there's patterns that, that operate from game to game, but what you really are trying to do is get into the understanding of how this game works, the patterns that are involved in this game, and the problems that are in that game will actually be concrete. So suppose that you are making a board game about operating a stuffed animal factory, and you have resources like cotton and fur, and then also like metal to make the things, and the players are like doing these resources, and you might all of a sudden find for some reason, five resources in this game feels totally intractable for my players. Huh, I can name several board games where they have more than five resources and they feel totally reasonable. What is it about those games that my game is not doing? Centered around the notion of five resources. Now, why did I choose this as an example? Because you might have this encounter in your specific game it is not the law of five resources. It's not a thing that you can go to a textbook and read and go, I've got it, I've figured it out. It's written right here. It's a thing that you pose a question from the problems in your games. You get a answer that you try out, it doesn't work. You get another answer, you try it, it doesn't work. You get another answer, it starts to work and then you develop an understanding and then that understanding that came from a concrete problem that you encountered concretely in your game, that understanding is what you can then take to the next project you work on. Hey, I'm at a game jam and we're gonna work on some sort of interesting city builder. And then you go, oh, hey, you know, um, I'm hearing some stuff about resources. L let me handle the resourcing thing because I actually have some, some, some ideas here because I had a total hell trying to make my stuffed animal manufacturing board game work. And they go, what kind of board game? And you go, shut up, we have a 48 hour game jam. I'm not answering questions, I'm applying my skills. And so I, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to, to just do the work on the game. Because there's just, there's just so much generalized bullshit that you can say that kind of vaguely feels like it applies to all of this stuff that, that could have nothing to do with anything concrete. Um, and so I think that if you are interested uh, in, in game development as a skill set, I cannot overstate how critical I think it is. <coughs> how critical it is to just be making games, and then all those books that you'll read, all that those supplementary materials, will suddenly feel really useful and really interesting and really applicable because you are applying them to this thing. Did I just circle? Oh, I'm fucking here again? Ugh. Can I actually exit out this way? I can, nice. I'm 
trying to think if there's a more concrete example I can give. I can walk past this turkey. This, this direction is where I need to go back. I remember thinking that this is maybe the, the key. Let me just look around for a little bit. So how do I get back? That's that's really the question for me now. Which is the question for me now. Maybe it's over this way. Or nope. And I feel like this applies to so many skill sets where really like 90% of developing the skill is just doing shit. And then 10% is like study and research and learning other things. You know, if you said, hey Sean, I want to become a top StarCraft player, how would you suggest studying? I'd be like, all right, well, first. Here, I'm gonna save that fast because I keep I keep rambling. And how many... How do I see how many cogs I have? Pretty sure I have. Hmm. Go this way? Maybe I can just go back through here. But I assume I need to move back through the dog path. It's very difficult for me to do two things at the same time. My brain is just not that strong. You know? No fucking way. You can just go back. Oh my god, I can just go back. We have to go back, Jack. That's a Lost reference. Lost is a really amazing TV show that was released during the 2000s that, unfortunately, they just never finished it. Um... Okay, now now that I, now that I see where I am, um, yeah, no, I, I think that like if you said, hey, I want to start learning uh, StarCraft Two, get better at the game, what should I do? It's like, okay, we'll just play a shit. Um, all right, you, how, how much have you played? Twenty games? All right, dude, play like play like play like five hundred games, and then let's begin to talk. Okay, what problems are you encountering? We're gonna walk. We're walking. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Hold the walk button. Boop. <laughs> walk. We're walking. Walk it up. take a break from playing. If you want to learn a skill set, do the thing. 90% of your effort should be doing the thing. Um, and then 10% is like the adjustment and the, and the reaction and the tuning. And I mean, this is why if someone asks me about anything game design related, I'm, I'm like, well, let me try to like make up some concrete shit that can hopefully fill in the, this enormous gulf of lack of information. Because, I mean, like, uh, and again, I want to not discredit a type of joy, which is us all sitting around, kind of just discussing the nature of ideas. And, like, kind of like, hey, well, so, like, do you think an open world game is considered deep if it does this or that? You know, it's like, th that's a very sort of 
theoretical, academic, you know, it, it could be fun to discuss while we're just, like, having some drinks, killing some time, but, like, for all intents and purposes, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, the answer to this question, oh, I think that this does, th this is how I would define depth in an open world game, and I think that this open world game, therefore, does not satisfy this definition. It's like, all right, well, players don't play your definition. They play if the game is fun. So, how do we solve those problems? Oh my god, I think we beat the game. I think we won. Holy shit, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna fucking throw up. Oh my god, I fucking... Oh, where's Pikachu G in chat? Fucking ban Pikachu G. Fuck. Ugh. God, I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. Ugh. Uh, at least I'm good at this jump. This might be the best Let's Play I've uploaded to my channel. Take a step back. Rotate. Got it in one. Look at that. Look at that. Armageddon Wolf says he's doing a bit right. Oh, how I wish. It, you know what? You're right. It's a bit. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Is everyone having a good time? Because it's a bit. Is everyone having a good time? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I love you so much. It was a bit. It's just a bit. That's, that's all that it is. I'm going to save the game by hitting the right button and clicking like this. It's a bit. Woo, it's a good thing everyone knows exactly that it was a bit. Oh, well, I have three of them. Oh. It's like when you're going to the chiropractor. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and hold your neck this way, and you're going to feel a little thrust, and it'll crack like that. Are you ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. All right, here goes. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? All right, I can see. Your C5, it's a little tight there. Do you feel that? Oh, yeah, I feel that tension. All right, now just breathe, relax, and just a little thrust here. There, all done. You're done. You did great. You did a great job. All right. Is this going to work? The music lets me know I did something good. Nothing else in this game is letting me know I did something good. <laughs> yeah, Coggers. Coggers absolutely locked it in. Dog champ. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game. First, breathe. Alright, let's go tank Lara. Alright, I told you it was going to be like this. This is amazing. I told you, I knew it. If this if if this doesn't get me to the end of the level, I'm gonna rip myself in half. Oh, I remember this little face. Ugh, I took my little tongue out. Ugh. Look, it's hay. Is there a bear? Somewhere? Wait, what? Oh, 
shotgun shells. Yeah, let's get some shotgun. Let's pick it up. Let's walk up to it. We're just gonna walk up. We're gonna back up. We're gonna pick it up. Put it away in there. Hurrah. this is the, oh. oh it's fighting this right now I'm ready I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're just backing it up. Let me just tank it this way. <coughs> please turn! Please! Oh my god. Just look in the look in the direction that you're facing. Look in the direction. Look in the direction. Okay. See, you hear, you hear those you hear those little crackles? That's my capture card that's starting to crispen up after so many hours. <laughs> Ugh. Holy shit, I'm doing it. Oh, that was a secret. So maybe this is the way I was supposed to go all along. I hear you I hear you crickling and crackling. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Mmm. Hold on, hold on. I just need to close the software and reopen it again. Excuse me, Despy. Excuse me. I know you're upset about that. <sighs> See? No longer crispy. No, get this stupid thing off here. If I click my video mixer button, it's just like, oh, look at all these things that you can put. Oh, I'm going to drown. Wait, so if that's... Violet Derp, thanks for the five gifted subs. What am I doing wrong? Thank you, Violet Derp. This is paint. This is difficult and hard. And my brain keeps reverting to Dark Souls controls. And it's just not... Oh, God. I'm like so I'm so done. I'm over this. Over this. I want to I want to be I want it to be completed. Instead it's telling me that was just like a secret room? Like there's just some little secret I'm supposed to be happy about? I'm not happy about a secret. I want to win. I want to win the game. Maybe I just leave. Maybe I just go home. I will say the swimming is actually like really nice in this game. It's the only game that's ever had good swimming. So 
this just like a stupid secret area? Is that why it went blue? I mean, I guess so. Oh my god. Save it. Oh. Okay, come on. Wait, it's still filled with water. Well, of course, it's not a it's not going to drain. Why the fuck would it drain? Of course it's not going to drain. I'm hold on. I'm going back. We're going to load. Okay, so so I, I feel like I'm I'm absolutely process of eliminationing this. Cuz here's Here's where the waterfall was. Look in a straight line, Lara Croft. Can I get up over here? You can. You can get up there. You might think you can't, but you can. So wh why is this so hard for me to figure out? I don't want you to answer that question. That's a rhetorical question. If you answer that question, you're banned from my chat. Is there something over here? No, I don't want to go into the water. I thought I did this. I thought I, I literally thought I held the buttons. I thought I held the buttons. Wait, this is just a secret? I swear to God. What in the fuck am I missing? Oh my god, please. Please. I just... All I want is yellow paint. I need to go eat. I need to eat. All right. Just say hot or cold. Just start saying hot and cold. Just start saying it. Just start saying hot and cold. Is this a hot path or is this a cold path? Ice cold, it's icy. seating all right room temperature all right red hey this is come on Sean you're a gamer gamers use guides by IGN so 
where I fucking came from. What am I doing? Get out of there, Lara. Okay, is this... Is there any heat down here at all? Always behind the fucking waterfall, huh? Keep telling me. Tell me how hot it is. It's so hot it hurts. Let me make it stop, Sean, please. Please. Oh, Lara, get in get in the get in there. Bye.